The multimeter is probably one of the most useful pieces of testing equipment used in electronics. It's used for measuring current, voltage and resistance in AC and DC circuits. It's also an invaluable tool when troubleshooting electrical circuit problems. There are two types of multimeters, analog and digital. They can both be bench or handheld devices. Digital multimeters generally take more accurate measurements than their analog counterparts. Some of the limitations of the analog multimeters include a limited resolution due to the restricted width of the scale pointer, less accuracy due to vibrations of the pointer and accuracy of the printed scales, zero calibration errors, and errors due to non-horizontal use of the mechanical display. The front of the meter has a selector dial, an LCD, a number of selection buttons and three jack sockets. The yellow triangle shows the input voltage or current that should not be exceeded to avoid damage to the meter. Press the on-off button to switch the machine on. To connect the multimeter to an electrical circuit, a pair of test leads is used. These insulated leads are colour-coded, red and black. Each lead has a probe at one end and a jack plug at the other. The selector dial on the front of the multimeter allows the type of measurement and its range to be chosen. The range selected affects the accuracy of the measurement. The meter has an auto-ranging feature which can be used when measuring voltage, current or resistance. To change between auto and manual ranging, press the range button. If the meter is set for manual ranging and an out of range figure OL condition is displayed, select a higher range using the dial. If the display is difficult to read due to poor lighting conditions, press the yellow function button for two seconds to turn on the display's backlight. The light switch is off automatically after 15 seconds. When interpreting results on the display, it is important to take into account the measurement range. Some ranges have a letter suffix, for example, when measuring current, a small m preceding the capital A, the ampere symbol, indicates the range is in milliamps, that's thousandths of an ampere. When measuring resistance, thousands of ohms may be indicated by a small k preceding the omega ohm symbol. 2,000 ohms would be displayed as 2 kilo k ohms. These letters are some of the standard suffixes used as short forms to represent small or large amounts. If there's no suffix, the result is read directly from the display. Connect the black lead to the common socket and the red lead to the socket labelled input. Switch on the multimeter and set the dial to the V voltage position. If the display is not already showing DC, press the function button to select DC. The probes must be connected in parallel with the component under test. The red probe should be connected to the positive side and the black probe connected to the negative side of the component. The DC voltage is read directly from the display. When measuring current in a circuit, the circuit must be broken at the point of interest and the multimeter connected in series to form part of the circuit. It is important to make sure that the power to the circuit has been switched off before connecting the meter. Connect the black lead to the common socket. If you expect to measure less than 200 milliamps, connect the red lead to the input socket. If you are expecting to measure more than 200 milliamps, connect the red lead to the 10 amp socket. Set the dial to the appropriate range, microamps, milliamps or amps. If the display is not already showing DC, use the function button to select DC. The test leads are connected in series with the component under test, with the red probe connected to the most positive part and the black probe connected to the negative part. DC current is read directly from the display. Connect the black lead to the common socket and the red lead to the socket labelled input. 
Switch on the multimeter. Set the selector dial to the V voltage position. If the display is not already showing AC, press the function button to select AC. The probes must always be connected in parallel with the component under test. It does not matter how the probes are connected in this case. As mentioned previously, when measuring current in a circuit, the circuit must be broken at the point of interest and the multimeter connected in series to form part of the circuit. Therefore, it is important to make sure that the power to the circuit has been switched off before connecting the meter. Connect the black lead to the common socket. If you expect to measure less than 200 milliamps, connect the red lead to the input socket. If you are expecting to measure more than 200 milliamps, connect the red lead to the 10 amp socket. Set the dial to the appropriate range, microamps, milliamps or amps. If the display is not already showing AC, use the function button to select AC. The test leads are connected in series with the component under test. It does not matter how the probes are connected in the circuit. AC current is read directly from the display. When measuring resistance of a component in a circuit, all the power should be removed and the capacitors fully discharged. Connect the black lead to the common socket and the red lead to the input socket. Switch on the multimeter. Select a dial must be set to point to the ohms position. The test leads are connected across the terminals of the component. It doesn't matter how the probes are connected in this case. The resistance value can then be noted and interpreted based on the range chosen. For resistance above 1 mega ohm, wait for a few seconds to get a stable reading. As mentioned previously, all the power should be removed and the capacitors fully discharged. Connect the black lead to the common socket and the red lead to the input socket. Set the selector dial to the continuity diode position shown by the sound symbol. Use the function button to select continuity test. Connect the probes into the circuit at the point of interest where continuity is to be checked. If continuity exists, that's typically a resistance of less than 50 ohms, the meter's built-in buzzer will sound. A diode is a two-terminal device. A simple diode allows an electric current to pass in one direction, this is in the forward biased condition, and to block the current in the opposite direction, the reversed biased condition. The positive terminal is called the anode, while the negative terminal is called a cathode, usually indicated on the device by a thin bar printed at one end. To test a diode, connect the black lead to the common socket and the red lead to the input socket. Set the selector dial to the continuity diode position. Use the function button to select diode test. Toggle between resistance and voltage measurements using the function button. To test the forward characteristics of the diode, connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode. The reading shown on the screen is a forward voltage drop across the diode junction, typically 600 millivolts or a small forward resistance if resistance measurement is selected. To test the reverse characteristics of the diode, connect the red lead to the cathode and the black lead to the anode. A reading OL should be displayed or a large reverse resistance value if resistance measurement is selected. 